Brooks Kepka might be the beat, guy to beat at the PGA Championship, but it's hard to beat the story that Alex Knoll is going to tell you about. He's a PGA professional. He's a high school golf coach. He's a math teacher, and he got invited to play in the PGA Championship and yesterday shot a 7 over 77, and Alex joins us from San Francisco. How are you, Alex? Great, Dan. Thanks for having me. This is so cool. Okay. Just give people an idea. Uh, you're from Pennsylvania, and you're a math teacher there. You're the high school coach. And when do you find out that you're going to be playing in the PGA Championship? So it goes back to mid-March. I'm actually giving a lesson, and I get an email that they canceled our PGA Club Professional Championship, which was supposed to be in Austin, Texas. Um, but that got canceled at the time due to COVID. And there was a link at the bottom of the email just saying top 20 on last year's national points list gets invited. Well, I guess for some reason I clicked that link because I'm like, oh, I'd like to see who are the lucky 20. And I opened the email. I'm in 11th place. I'm like, how the hell am I in this golf? <laughs> um, so it said, though, if they don't reschedule the PGA, and if it's still held in May, I'm in the event. So right away, screenshot it, send it to my parents, send it to all my friends. I'm in the PGA. Next morning, they postponed the PGA. I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. So the rest of the summer, we're waiting to see if they're going to reschedule the Club Pro back into Austin, Texas. They eventually did. And by the end of June, it just – Austin was not a place to have a golf tournament with 300 guys coming in. So then they postponed and eventually canceled that again. And I was officially in the field about three and a half weeks ago. How much golf have you been playing? Actually, way too much. As a club pro, we play minimally. So I've been playing probably four days a week up leading out, coming out here. And I played two and a half practice rounds this week. And I said to my caddy, after I hit 100 balls perfect yesterday in the range, I said, we're way too prepared. This is not going to go well. And I was <laughs> on the course, and so I played pretty well, but a couple of my swings were nervy, and that's why I shot the score I did. What was that like when they announced you on the first tee? You can't sim. I, I as a teacher, you can't. You always want to prepare your students for these scenarios. You can't do it without that experience. I'm always an experience-based teacher, and when they announced my name. I took two deep breaths. I probably said two Hail Marys and I aimed 30 more, 30 yards more right. Cause I knew I was just going to pull hook it and I actually hit a pretty <laughs> stop just into the left side of the rough, uh, just missing the fairway and all things considered is a pretty good drive. But here you are on the driving range. And, and I, the only way I can relate to this is when I played in the Pebble beach pro-am you're there with pros right next to you. And I have Nick Faldo right there next to me at the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. You're hitting with the other pros. Who were you next to on the driving range? And how surreal was that? Oh. Um, well, Wednesday, well, Monday when I got there, I was the first guy in the range, which was great because no one had to see what I was doing on my initial first couple shots on the range. <laughs> and then Rory shows up. I'm like, that's nice. We see him bomb the ball. Uh, Wednesday was the coolest. After I got done with my nine holes, I go to the far right range again. And then just Brooks walks up right next to me, parks his bag down. And then Spieth, two on the other side of me, parks his bag down. I look at my guys, I'm like, what the heck is that? Um, and I'll be honest, yesterday I was next to Sung JM, and I'm not trying to sound confident, but I probably hit it way better than him on the range. I mean, I was like stripe show. And then when I got the golf course, it was not there. <laughs> That's what happens. I'm really good on the range. Exactly. It, it's just that long walk. It's a short walk usually from the range to that first tee, but boy, it's a long distance away from uh, being on the range. Well, it, even a funnier story is I was – I was finishing up my practice yesterday on the chipping green and I look up and Phil Mickelson is directly across from me chipping to the same flag. So I turn to my guys. I'm like, you have to take a picture of this. As I get back <laughs> over the ball, I then blade one right at him. <laughs> and he's like, thank God I moved. I'm like, yeah, you got to watch out around here. And he says, stay safe out there. And I said, no, I'm fine. You're the one in danger. 
he's looking at, and my captain says to him, that was with the Phil Mickelson grind Callaway wedge. And he turns around, he's like, no, it wasn't. So we had a good laugh. He came back over in the putting green to talk to us before I teed off. So that was really cool. Uh, and all you want to do is get through unscathed. You know, you're not winning. But in your mind, you want to compete, but you just don't want to embarrass yourself. And here you are trying to be cool, and you nearly take out Phil Mickelson. It's on, it was, I, I sculled one in the Rory on Monday. And <laughs> Phil, so if I, get, if I get somehow some Tiger today, I'll probably purposely blade one towards him to say I got all three. What was the shot that you're gonna, you took away from the first round where you went, eh, that's pretty damn good? 18 um, was the shot I got on ESPN. Scott Van Pelt was announcing me. I had all my buddies send it to me. I had to I had a good drive that just didn't clear the rough on the left side of the ravine. I had to kind of hack it out. I had 55 yards in, and the pin was tucked just over the left bunker. And I actually just put in a 64-degree wedge this week because of the rough and the bunkers. And for me, if I take a pretty full swing at it, I can hit it about 55. And I hit it about 55 yards and eight inches i mean i stuffed it right in there so that was really cool and actually i was only two over on the front that was my first nine so i was kind of in the flow of the round until i got to five and six where i made a double and a bogey and that's where the score got a little higher he's alex knoll he is uh from eastern pennsylvania he's a high school math teacher uh led the uh team to the district championship first time in what the 100 plus years of the school yeah. It was awesome. There was no golf was the only school, only sport in the school that didn't have a banner. And I said to my buddy, who's the AD, I said, within five years, you have to get one up there. We got it in our fourth year. Would you rather win a state championship for your golf team or make the cut at the PGA championship? Make the cut every single time. <laughs> that, that, okay all right i thought you were going to be you're a teacher and you know it's always about the kids and nope it's all it's about you it's all about me this week absolutely <laughs> will you walk over will you see tiger t did you see tiger at all yeah, i walked by him on the range yesterday i actually putted to the same hole as his on tuesday um we're in the same wave so i'll see him at some point later today as he's warming up yeah but does he say anything to you on the uh, putting green? Because he has his AirPods in. He's listening oh, to something. Oh, okay. So I went up to him and said, the rough's really heavy. He kind of looked <laughs> up at the side of the branch. He's like, yeah, it is. And then went back to his routine. Um, he did take his AirPods out for Brooks Kepka. So I think if I was a little <laughs> better in the world ranking, he would talk to me. <laughs> and you're, uh, you're, you're carrying the Callaway bag there and flying the colors there. We love that. Absolutely. It, they've been awesome to me. It, they, it's been great. I've been on some of their podcasts. Phil saw that too. That's why he came back over. It's just been, it's been absolutely dream week. As I keep saying, every day is better than before, even though I shot a little worse than I would have liked. It still was incredible. And I, I acquitted myself. Well, I didn't shoot a hundred out there. I just shot seven over. So it wasn't terrible. And you're going to tee off at around what? Uh, five. 545 our time east coast time yes 542 east coast yes. 542 so we'll hopefully they'll have you in the coverage there do something incredible will you alex just like i mean can you do something so we can you know make don't break a club or anything like that <laughs> well no I, i'll just push down in my driveway yeah. <laughs> like kept like, like uh dechambeau did yesterday breaking <laughs> the head of his driver that was crazy Hey, it's a great story, and uh, ho hopefully you, you have some great memories there. And, and um, don't screw up today on the driving range or the putting green, okay? I'll try not to. I want to keep those guys safe, but I was thinking if I just took out 10 of them, my chances get a little <laughs> bit better. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. We appreciate your time. Good luck. That's Thank great. Uh, Alex Knoll, K-N-O-L-L, -L, and uh, math teacher, the high school golf coach. And all of a sudden, you go to a website, you click on, you go, uh, I'm playing in the PJ Championship.